Are you a hard stuck support player trying to hit diamond? Well, then you are in the right place. In this video, you will experience a coaching session that I received from former LCS pro, five time NA challenger, two time Korean challenger, who immediately following this coaching session, I instantly win streak my way to diamond in less than a week. Just watch this whole video and you will have all the tools you need to start climbing. We start off with a VOD review where I made all the beginner mistakes that you're probably making as well. After that, we do a live game coaching session where I get perfect shot calling to help me secure an easy victory in Emerald Elo. But without further ado, let's get into it. All right, we're versus Malphite support. All right, how do you end up losing this one? And you're versus a Yasuo who's pretty weak in the level one. Q, auto. Nice. Oh, we got a mid roam here. Honestly, this is a this is a two v three angle. Oh, you guys should have won this fight. You gotta not pussy out here. You have your passive ignite this guy. Like look look at the mini wave they're fighting in. You know, like they're fighting. This guy's still level one. I mean, it's just a Lucian level two, bro. This guy does a little bit of damage, but you should you guys should be able to maybe kill this guy before even Lucian's able to hit you guys. Now your Jinx is probably gonna die from the Yasuo, like fucking dashing in and out, maybe. <laughs> I believe it. Yeah, she's basing on a war too. Yeah. It doesn't die. A little rough. You got your base right out. here? Um, no, you have potions, right? No, you have potions. You don't need All to right. base. I would just use a potion right now. So you can at least heal back up. The wave's coming back to you, so there's no... There's no really reason to base. Okay, we're fast push. This is fine. Now we're gonna probably recall after this. If there's nothing. So here, I mean, you do have 600 gold. This is okay to do. Um, this is okay to do. Now we really want to just get out. Probably no fight, right? Our Jinx is... I don't know what our Jinx is doing. Our Jinx is AFK, <laughs> but... Oh yeah, Jarvan was going crazy. Yeah, Jarvan. <laughs> Jarvan's going in, baby. Um... <laughs> What I would do to like avoid all of this, because this is really just like kind of monkeying around, right? Yeah. Um, the thing about this, <clears throat> it's it's really like everyone has flash, right? Like their mid laner, I mean, their mid laner has no flash, but he has a dash. Their jungler has flash. So then it's like, okay, um, we can burn their flash for this, right? Uh, like your Jarvan could have lived, but why not instead just recall, right? If I was you, just recall. And then the wave's building back to you, right? It's coming back to you. So now you can look to maybe like hold it over here and then look for a jungle gank or or look for that, right? You just want to be back in lane so that you could you can make it a little bit harder. Like the only reason why I don't like this is because like you see like the Wukong just ends up flashing it. And then mm -hmm. and then after that, like now you need to recall. Um I mean you don't have to recall, but it's just like now their support has a recall over you, right? He has the amp tone oh, yeah. already. So now the wave is pushing back to you. And then you have to catch it, but you also have to recall. So now your tempo is gonna be a bit bad. Just because if you don't recall right now, right? You I mean your jungler just runs it down, not much <laughs> you can do there. But now you need to like kind of find a recall in the next couple of minutes or else you'll be sitting on too much gold. You see like 700 already if you don't recall here you can be recalling at maybe like 900 gold which is like now your laning phase is it's too weak for the amount of time that you'll be laning right uh -huh. you can't even fight you're down a level you need to e away and you e and this is fine you proc aftershock but now your lane's just completely cooked right now 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 you still need to recall now you have 800 gold and it's like hmm now your Jinx, your Jinx just mogged the entire wave, uh. so now the wave is not even going to be that good. Yeah, like now you can't play. That's the issue, is now you can't play. Because now, now you see, now the waves is going to be slow pushing to them, right? Unless they're like, they're complete bots. I mean, now you end up maybe looking for a play at 1 HP. Now you need to push your wave, and then you need to recall, but like you can't push because they'll hold it here, and you're 1 HP, so you can't fight them. So you see now, now you're just, you're cooked. Like, now you need to, you sacrifice, now you just need to recall. Because you already made that mistake. So you end up doing it, 
Um, but you see, now you lost, what, two minutes of gameplay? Yeah, you lost basically two minutes of gameplay, and all you got was a Wukong Flash for it. Like, is it really that worth it? Like, I would do this if the Wukong has no Flash, but even then, you need to make sure that he uses W on the Gromp, right? So unless yeah. you have a ward on the Wukong and you see that he's doing this camp and he W'd, I would just recall. Like, instead of running up to mid here, you push your bow wave, just, just recall, right? You push this in, perfect, right? And then you just recall over here. You push this one, because you guys are not building. You push, recall. Recall okay. right here. Four minutes, we look for a recall. That way, we don't get stuck in this this whole like <laughs> shenanigan of like, wow, now you even you, you don't even recall, you look for the dragon afterwards. And it's like, like look, your first recall is going to be what? It's going to be like a fucking 1,000 gold recall. It's like, like it's you could have been like... in this fight, right? But you could have already spent all of this gold. That's why. Ooh. That's what I want you to see. Like you could have recalled right at four minutes, and then all of this would happen. The same thing would happen, but you'd be full HP. You'd have a Kindle gem or whatever you want, boots, ruby crystal. So yeah, I really want you to look for recalls, especially after like pushing waves. If you have really nothing better to do, because again, you're playing Zach, right? You go mid at level three. Look, look what your E range is, okay? Like this is Zach E range at level three. So who are you ganking, right? <laughs> Unless their mid laner is like walking up here, you're never gonna hit shit. Okay. Right? At level five, level six, perfect. Now your E's like what? Your E's like this now. So maybe you can look for something. Okay, so you think I should stay in lane until at least level five, and then I start looking for roams? No, no, you don't have to stay in lane, but you'd have to make sure that you're catching XP and you have recalls and you spend your gold. That's the okay. most important thing. You can look for a roam here. Like let's say, let's say you recall here, right? But mm -hmm. it's because if you're recalling well, you probably won't have time to roam because mm -hmm. that's the reality of the game, right? Like, look, let's say you recall, right? You're already in base. Now, if you do, we, we just watch what the minions do, right? Mm -hmm. um, I'll show you what, I'll just show you from minion wave perspective, right? All right, so you're already recalled. So look at what the minion wave is gonna do. Now, if there's no fight here, right? Just ignore that there's a fight here. Now, what's the minion wave gonna do? It's gonna push back to you. So this means that, okay, you can roam, right? But now you'd be you'd be like here, you'd be matching this wave. So now you're like at this position, and now the wave's coming. So this wave is going to be over here right now, because they're pushing, right? And now if you're mid on this wave, right, and the minion wave is here, you need to go back bot. That's why there's no real time to roam. The only mm -hmm. real time you have to roam is when you crash, and they're in the base. If, if you're pushing your minion wave, and they are over here, okay, now you have a time to roam. I don't even realize how bad I was trolling. I died with like 1200 gold. <laughs> yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, you died with 1.175. <laughs> yeah, so now you come back on map, your first recall is at seven minutes. I mean, it's it's okay, but it's just a little a little bit slow. Now we're running to top side. Can we run to top side? We probably can't run to top side here, just based because like, like this is just like, like your jungler is gonna be bot side, right? So mm. instead of like doing some like 2v2 top side type shit, right? Instead of like 2v2, 2v2ing with your top laner here is there really a play angle on this guy again he has flash he has his passive um so is aatrox really going to be able to do anything like that's going to one shot him probably not mm -hmm. so let's just avoid this right let's just go back to our lane let's go get some some xp some more gold or level six let's play with our jinx make sure he can he can farm well in this game because it might be hard for him right there's a fucking malphite um now, because because like let's look at what happens, right? Let's look at your use of time. So here we E. You probably can't even reach him, can you? Yep. So he flashes. See? Now now you got the top laner flash, but at what cost? Yeah. All of these minions. This is all what you're losing right now. Like yeah, your jinx is getting it, but like you're not you're not getting anything. Are they gonna mm -hmm. dive your jinx? Yep. Your jinx might be dead here. Yep. I mean, they end up trolling. I mean, I don't know. They also did an ult. You and Jujing ends up dying. And what? You got Malza Heart Flash, and look what your top laner did. He just monkeyed out afterwards. <laughs> look, your top laner, you got you got him a lane lead, and then he just brings his flash because he goes under the turret and gets ulted. See what oh. this guy's doing? He sold. Dude's PayPal. Yeah, he sold. But you're <laughs> you're the one playing to his lane, you know? It's like you're right. so now you base, you run from top to bot. 
Now the enemy ADC dies, so now you're going to probably push this. Um, probably look for another recall, and then I would imagine you're going to roam. Mm -hmm. And is that what I should do, or is just what I'm probably going to do based on my gameplay? No, I'm, I'm just trying to predict from your gameplay. All right. <laughs> probably a good guess. So we're going to recall. We have a support item now, so this is a, a good recall. This, this is fine to do. But now we really want to make sure we're going back bot, right? The wave is pushing into us. We just chunked the Malphite to half HP. Let's go back bot here. Let's get our... We don't chase the Wukong here. Yeah, so here we're getting... We're getting... We're letting the monkeys get to our head, right? We're becoming <laughs> one. The, the Wukong is... Like, the Wukong is going to die, right? The Wukong is going to die no matter what. So here you don't need to do anything. Um, hopefully our Jinx doesn't die. Is our Jinx going to die? All right, our Jinx is not dead. But let's make sure we, he gets some love. Oh, our Jinx is dead. Yep. No. <laughs> so now you're back to lane, but your Jinx is dead. So both times you did your roam, you came back to lane, your ADC is dead. And now you're using your you're using your ult, you're using your conditions. Now you lost your conditions. Now your Jinx is coming back. Look, your Jinx is coming back. Now you lost your conditions. Now it's like, oh. okay. <laughs> so you see how now, like, the entire game was was so... Like, I can... Just based off this early game, the late game is going to be much, much harder. Because their win condition is really just having, like, the Jinx behind. Like, mm -hmm. if the Jinx gets ahead in this game, it might be much easier. Like, they're just going to click Malphite Ultimate, right? Like, the Malphite already has a fucking Lost Chapter and a Hextech Alternator at 10 minutes. This should never happen because it's Malphite support, right? Like, mm -hmm. you should never really be for assist um, at this time. So your ADC gets a plate. Now, you see you're roaming, but you're 1 HP. And you're going to go in. This guy has Flash Barrier. Boom. Your, your roam's completely useless. Now our ADC's probably going to die on this wave. Or some shit's gonna happen. Ooh. Yep. So now look. Now you have to recall. Boom, the Yasuo pushes. Can your Jinx even like lane here? Probably not, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, if the Malphite runs straight to bot here, he's gonna be able to dive your ADC, but looks like he doesn't, so it turns out to be fine. But again, you need to recall. You're 547 HP. What can you really do, right? Yeah. When you're low HP, you need to click that recall button. And after getting something, right, you push here, you're low HP, click that recall button. It's your best friend. Um, it's really going to recenter like, your your game and you'll be able to like come back on map full HP. All right, now I can maybe roam. Really be careful for your roams, right? You want to make sure that it's a good timer for you to roam and you will get something out of it. Not just a flash, because getting just flashes, it's not enough. Like mm -hmm. getting a flash, if you only get their flash... Basically, you're trusting that, or you're putting faith in your laners that they'll be able to punish them without the flash. Mm -hmm. So okay. instead, let's just make them come into us, right? Make them come into you at the dragon, at the grubs. Keep all your HP. Get good roams, right? Make sure that you can roam to the grubs. And then, like, maybe you could be here full HP. Now they're face checking. You have everything. Uh, your Vex still has ult. And that's going to be, like, a, an easier way to fight or to mm -hmm. win. Because team fights are more important, and if you're keeping your conditions for the team fights and you're making sure that your teammates also have their conditions for the team fight, it'll be a bit easier. Yeah, so now you go back to mid. Okay, back to bot. Now your ADC is dead again before you even get there. <laughs> you see how like now it's like so sad. Like maybe you guys uh. are gonna get these two kills, but um, I guess you guys got the dragon. I mean, this is like a good way to come back, I guess. Your top laner had a really good TP. Um, but this is not like. Like you see how none of this is planned. Like not like mm. this is like kind of like luck. It's like yeah. oh, okay, your top laner realized like he can TP here, right? Like, uh, and then like your team stole the dragon like accidentally, and then <laughs> it's like yeah, a lot of things went right right here. Yeah, this is like the stars aligned, you know. Uh huh. Uh, you end up getting the kills. That's a little bit sad too. You got the shutdowns, and it's not your fault. It's just your champ just does damage. Uh -huh. This is good, right? Now we put the vision, so now let's go, let's probably like either recall or like you have a two level lead. You want to really now, you want to like push that to the limit, right? Mm -hmm. So instead of doing all of this like shenanigan mid lane, right? Instead of pushing with your mid laner here and looking for an E, nothing's going to ever happen, right? You're mm -hmm. aware that the Lucian's going to dash your E, so here just recall, right? Instead okay. of doing this, instead of showing on mid wave, 
uh, showing where you are, just recall in the in the bush here. They won't have vision of you. Now their Yasuo is going to be scared of you, right? But because uh, you're showing, yeah. now ev everyone knows what you're doing. So now what do you do? You recall. Now you're going top. But see, you're going again in the 2v2. Just look where your jungler is. Click where your jungler is. Mm -hmm. If your jungler's in bot side, go probably help him out. If your jungler's in top side, maybe you can look for a roam. But now you're looking for a play. This guy's never going to die. He has W flash. If he dies here, he's just like... Uh, He's just a monkey. <laughs> yeah, his W, boom. They turn on you guys. You guys don't have numbers advantage. Yep. Ooh. And what happens? You're grouping mid, you get some kills. Like, you see how sometimes it's going to work, and then sometimes it's not going to work. Mm -hmm. Because that's that's the that's the part. I, I also coach another. He's a Annie player. He's the one in the call right now. And uh -huh. he does the same thing. He really just, he loves just roaming. But then, yeah. the issue with that is that the games or the win and loss becomes very inconsistent. Not because you as a player is inconsistent, but because the games will not operate that way. There's some games that, okay, you're going to roam and it's going to be super good. And then there's some games that you're going to roam and it's going to be super bad. So okay. then, because it's, it's like a... Uh, inconsistency it makes it so that you win win some games because your roams are good and then you're going to lose some games because your roams are just like they don't really gain much so there's some people that are going to die to your roams some people that just are not going to die like you know like in this timer let's not dive this guy let's just avoid all of this right we're getting the herald we're getting what we came came for let's recall right we, we put good visions and then let's just come back on the map and maybe get a, a mid tier one a bot tier one right let, let's go, let's get the Herald, and then let's go for a, a tower. Here, if it was a different champion, like maybe, I don't know, a, a Nar or a very squishy champion, sure. But this, he has flash, he has ultimate, you'll never dive him, right? Mm -hmm. You'll never be able to, like, like, even if you break his shield here, you go on him, he's probably not going to be one shot. Like, your jungler's doing this, so let's make sure we're doing one thing at a time. That's the most important, okay? Not skipping steps. Not going like, oh, my jungler's, he's doing this, so I can do this. No, right? Help him do this, and then go do this. Let's do one thing, right? Let, hit the Herald with him, make it fat, because if more people are hitting the Herald, the eye opens up faster, so the, the Herald dies faster. Let's do this, and then boom, on next wave, this wave coming out of base, maybe we can dive this guy. Yeah, so like here, this is good, right? It's the same, this is the same thing, right? They're walking inside your vision. But now your jungler's done the objective. Like that now this is perfect, right? Like you see how the position now it's like, okay, everyone's in the line now. So if they walk in here or anything of the sort, now they're gonna die, right? No one's showing on mid wave, but you know mm. there's no one behind him. So that's ah. why the vision into the play, even though this works and you might be doing it just because you wanna fight this guy, um you you have all the vision for this play and the enemy team doesn't. Like look I'll put their vision. Right, this is what they see this entire time. Right, this is what they see the the entire time. That's why you showing top, okay? It's not good because look, look, mm -hmm. look what happens. Look, they oh. don't see you the entire time, okay? They don't see you. They don't know where you are. And then boom, there's a blob that ap that appears here, right? <laughs> look, now you just it's like think of it as like a. You have pressure, right? You have pressure, and then as soon as you show here, now you're releasing pressure. You okay. just released all of your pressure in the top side. Now the Wukong or whatever, right? They feel safe maybe walking the top side because they see you. Now this guy, oh, he knows Zach is here. Okay, I might walk in. Da, 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 da. I'm going to get mm. vision, right? But he might not ever feel safe doing this if you're never showing. Yeah, that makes sense. And now he puts the vision. And now, like, you see how this guy, this guy's also, like, you know, he, he does, he's not even thinking. He's just clicking. And then, <laughs> oh, like, there's enemies here. Now I'm dead. Yeah, that makes sense. I need to think about it more. Yeah. And then from your vision, like, you could, like let's look at the, let's look at the, the whole sequence from your vision, right? Like, now you have full, let's do it a little bit earlier, actually. Right, boom, you're getting fruits. Like, you can be standing wherever you want, right? In this bush, in this bush, in this bush. You can help the Herald, do whatever. Just don't show here. 
because now we see the Wukong, right? So as soon as you see the Wukong, now, okay, we're doing the Herald. Maybe you want to look for the red buff invade, right? Like, maybe you want to look for something over here. You could be doing really anything uh, anything else. Now we see the Malphite walking up, right? So you have all the vision. Okay, we see their top laner. We see their jungler. We see their support. You see everyone, but they don't see you. That's the advantage that you get whenever you have tempo and you put all of these words down. That's the advantage. That's why this works, because you have full vision. You mm -hmm. probably wouldn't have killed this guy if you didn't drop these two wards. Okay. I see, I see. It really opens it up, I see. Yeah, it, it just opens up the plays, like the play opportunity. If the enemy team doesn't walk up, okay, take your recall, you know, like go go, go do something else. But now we get the tier one, nicely done. The map is opened a little bit, so now we want to play for a side tier one. We're going to crash this. Probably gonna recall, play towards the dragon here, spawning soon. Now let's recall. Let's go to the dragon side. Our team's fighting. Ooh. Nice. Hey. Nice. Oh no, okay. Nice, we get the kill maybe here. <laughs> oh, okay, we get his flash. flash. No, that's good. Now let's recall again, probably. We want to recall right now. The reason why we want to recall right now... Do you? I doubt I do. Yeah, this is why not recalling is bad. Look, now you're going to probably recall, right? And soon... Um, Okay, you don't recall, you show on mid. Okay, this is like the worst decision you could make. Oh. And now now look, now you have to recall, but look at look at their support. Now their support's back on the map, right? So even though you put vision, now it doesn't really matter because like I mean your jinx ints, but look at their tempo, right? Now uh -huh. they're just gonna walk into the dragon, right? They don't really care. Uh they 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 saw you like in bad conditions, right? See? Mm. Now they're all walking inside. And look where you are. You're super late. But you could already be here. You could already be with your team, even though your Jinx died. Um, like you could be here four v four. Hmm. I see. So it's all because I showed mid with low health. Also, because you didn't recall, you should just recall immediately. Like after you get a winning play, right? Instead of doing too many things, right? So now you won the fight. Now you want to get vision and you want to get the dragon. So mm -hmm. which one do you want? You know, you need to decide. If you want the dragon, you need to recall. If you want vision, you probably need to go topside. Okay, because no one will be there. So putting vision, yeah, well, because you're, you're losing tempo. Basically, putting your wards down here, it's gonna you're going to use it to have information to go for this tier 2. Like, it, now if they show in the bot side, right? Now you're going to be like, okay, there's three people in bot side, so we can dive whoever's top. That's how it's going to work. But in okay. my opinion, there's no point in doing that, right? Like, diving top, it's too too hard to execute. With, like, your junglers, these guys, are they're, they're just going to go to the dragon, no matter what. So instead, just just recall also, right? You got to just have to match them. Just make sure that, like, I mean, you, you guys cannot even get this bot tier 2, right? Like, like look, mm -hmm. the Jinx has 1.6 thousand gold. This guy, what the hell? He has Blade of the Rune King. Yeah, <laughs> he just needs to recall, right? But he's he wants to kill. He's greedy. He's greedy. It's like stop greeting, brother. You know, bro. Just yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> Insta base here. Okay. Yeah, that wasn't clear to me, obviously. Because <laughs> I showed yeah, me. Yeah, so now you guys maybe go fight this, and then you guys fight four v five. Yeah, like see, like <laughs> even though it's four v five, your jungler is going in, like. And now it's still numbers disadvantage, and now something might happen again. Like, oh, now your mid laner is gonna. Bro, look at these guys, man. They're just like, you know, like. Now they're flashing in. I mean, this looks not bad. Yeah. So now the over the enemy team is overreaching too. Like, you know, like a lot of people just make so many mistakes. Like, especially in this game. Like, look, they got the free objective, right? They got the free objective, mm -hmm. and now they want more. But ah. why? You know, there's no reason to get more. You already have what you want. So here it's like, okay, now maybe we get this Vex Flash. All right, we didn't get the Vex Flash. Now why are we doing this? You know, <laughs> this Malphite's going in. The Lucian's bot. The Yasuo's in base. What's the point of this, right? There's no, there's nothing that is good that's gonna come out of this Malphite ult. Like there's just nothing good. Even if they get these two kills, what are they gonna do?
Nothing, right? They can't break yeah. this tower as long as Aatrox is alive. They don't have, like, the mini wave is, is over there. Jinx is going to catch this. So there's really nothing that they're going to get. They already got the Jarvan kill because he inted. They already got the dragon. So there's really no point in them doing this. But they're still going to do it because to them, kills matter. To them, yeah. it's like, oh my god, like, there's an enemy on my screen. I want to kill him. <laughs> so you guys end up getting gold back. Like, you guys actually win, like, this trade now. Hey. So would their play be they should just base after the dragon? Yeah, because they okay. already got they already got the objective, right? Mm -hmm. They made so the winning play. Do, yeah, you never want to do too many things. Basically, think of it as like, like you know, like search and destroy rounds, right? Yeah. It always ends after like either kill the enemy team or you plant the bomb. Like that's basically uh -huh. the same thing. It, the round of League of Legends will end after you gaze them or after you get an objective okay i like that i like that idea so should i think of it like when i when i base or something or if i die i should think like what am i going to do with this life real quick like what am i going to do in this phase this yeah. round okay yeah and then it's also like can i do it right it's also like like these roams right you're like oh okay like I, in this life i want to go top lane but is there like is there really like a good reason to go top lane like if their top laner has no flash or if your jungler stop sure you can do it but if there's if there's no one, then I don't want you to like make it harder for yourself. Just go back to bot and just just start laning. Should we queue up? Yeah, you can queue up now. That was good. I feel like I learned a lot. Did you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like the idea. That way you put it with the like CS:GO rounds or search and destroy rounds. That's, yeah, that's clean. I feel like that's like watching it with you. I realize like my biggest issue is like not knowing what to do all the time. I've kind of been just yeah. like oh pushing in a row, but that round thing makes it really clear on like. I need to think when I base, what am I doing this life? Like, what am I doing this round? Yeah. Can I do this? Yeah, basically, right. yeah. Yeah, that game, that game sucked. <laughs> I didn't even realize it was like half my fault though because of the jinx getting dove every second. Yeah. I don't think I paid attention to that. <laughs> Leaving him have to dry. I don't know. I, I kind of got into the notion that ADCs were like, because they were in a really bad spot. I guess they're starting to buff them. But I kind of like got into the mo movement of, oh, they're so bad. I should just ignore them all game. Was that even the case when they were completely bad? I mean, they started buffing them lately, but like, even when they were completely bad, was that still even an option to like leave them to die? No, I mean, maybe in low elo it doesn't matter, but the the, the issue is that it becomes like both teams have one Thanos, okay? So maybe your top laner is going to be the Thanos, and maybe mm -hmm. their enemy AD carry will be the Thanos. Then it's up to one person, and then it's like, okay. Whoever is going to perform better in this game is going to win. But then it's like, like, is your top laner going to perform every every single game better? Probably not. So then again, it's like an inconsistent gameplay because, oh, maybe the top matchup, even though you, you put him ahead right in that game, he's playing mm -hmm. Aatrox versus Malzahar. Even if he gets ahead early game, is he really going to be able to like fucking shit on him? Probably uh, yeah. not. He, like Aatrox is like a good scaling champion, right? But on the opposite hand, let's say it's like, I don't know, Riven versus Aurelia, where, oh, one kill, and then the, the lane just becomes unplayable for one or the other. Yeah, now maybe you can play top, right? Let's yeah. say they have a fucking, I don't know, it's Cho'Gath versus Sion top lane. Who cares about that lane, right? <laughs> All right, so find the Thanos, play in rounds. Yeah, these are good concepts. Well, you want to make sure that their enemy ADC doesn't become the Thanos for, like, no reason. Like, if you guys just lose lane, like, that's fine, right? Like, that's... But if you're roaming too much, then that that's not, like, really losing lane. Like, you know, like, you're kind of just giving it for free. Yeah, because roaming's fun, but there's a, there's a limit to roaming. Like, the thing, the roaming becomes easier when you have support wards. That's really when, like, the roaming starts to happen. Oh, because I can, like, at least get vision if nothing happens? Basically, yeah. Like, you want to, like... Put vision down for your AD carry so that he's safe, and then you can roam. Because sometimes, like, it'll make, uh, like, as long as the ADC has vision of the enemy support, he's probably not gonna die. I mean, in that game, I would imagine he's gonna die quite a lot just because he's playing versus Malphite support, and it's uh, Emerald, so he's probably just gonna walk up to the Malphite, get ulted, and just die. <laughs> yeah. You have a question. Uh huh. So, like, how do you guys decide? Like in the professional scene, like what do you, how do you figure out like builds and stuff? Like what, what's the, what's the process you guys go through? Oh, we already know the builds. You just like have something you've practiced already? Well, it's not like, like there's not infinite champions that you're like, you already, basically what you pick on the weekend is what you practice like either the last week or two. So you already know like what the champion, I mean also like, I don't know, when you're playing pro, you're watching like 
uh, VODs like every single day. So you also see what other pe people are building. You're playing solo mm. queue. So you're just so familiar with the game that you don't need to even yeah. think about builds. You just know them from watching high level yeah. gamers and stuff. Okay, that's cool. That's interesting. Like I know builds. Like today I was playing some ADC, right? And even yesterday, like I know what they want to build, but now I don't. Like I don't know. Um, like the build path. That's like. Uh, like that's the only thing. But that's like I'm playing another role. But let's say I'm playing support. Like I know the build path to like everything. And yeah. Which champ wants what? There's plenty of me to go around. So you look for a good trade. This is good. You have level advantage. Always look for this. Get over here. Yo! Nice. Bush control's looking pretty good. Yeah. Wait, did he auto me? Did they have vision on this bush? Yeah. Either the ward or someone autoed from the bush. You can sweep. Just make sure. Oh, yeah. It's true. Nice. I think it's funny how everyone wore so heavy. Yep. You got no wars now. I would use my other potion right now. Now, look at how the map's gonna play out, right? Jungler, mm -hmm. on the way, somewhere. It doesn't matter where he's coming, but he's coming over here, anywhere he wants to be. The wave, it's crashed. So this means that it's slow pushing to you. So, yeah. um, this, this one wave, it's gonna be like over here, and then the next one may be over here, and then the next one may be over here. So, can you really all in over here? No, you can't, mm. right? Okay. So what you want to do is you want to make them overstep, right? You want to make them feel like, oh, they're safe, right? You see how you can't all in here, right? If you E, you'll be, he's too close to the tower. So you'll never look for a gank on this wave. It's always going to be the next wave. It's like Senna's down for it. Necrom's not. It's gonna be like on the next wave, so not on these range creeps, but uh, probably retreat back to the next bush uh, behind you, and then just play play over there. Yeah. Another ward, huh? And they're probably gonna hit level four, so be a bit careful. But your jungler's coming, so it's good. Perfect. Nice. Oh, that dude just got clapped. Yep. Ooh. Right, because the all in here, it's too close to their tower. But here on the next wave, right now, it's mm -hmm. now it's perfect. Right now, now it's not close enough. Now he can't just be under his tower instantly. Yeah. He so was for that's free. why. Yeah. Okay. So that's why. That's why. Um, this is just legit. This classic League of Legends. This is just how the game works. You can look for this every single game. If your jungler is pathing to bot, you pull it back, right? You you make the the wave bounce back. You look for a gank, especially because these people, uh, they know you have sweeper, <laughs> and he's still putting a ward in front of you. Oh, you know, like like yeah. he, they will never stop warding you, even though you have sweeper. It's like actually crazy. Um, yeah, we got like five wars. <laughs> yeah. So now, because they use all the wards on you, they have no vision of jungle. Boom, easy play. Perfect, right? Perfect. And now we want to push this. And now guess what? Because we push, what's going to happen? Let me know. Uh, it's going to push back into us. Yeah, exactly. Now we recall. Pantheon's mid. He's what doing the, the Tapatio strategy. <laughs> Bro. I get a control <laughs> ward and, and refillable instead of boots. Okay. 
Yeah, I noticed you you buy uh, refillable a lot. I've been trying that out, but like I don't really know why. I just do it because you told me to that one time. So yeah, if you could like explain highest, a little more. Yeah, it's the highest value item in the game. Uh, it's worth like thousands of gold basically because you just get two potions every time for free. Mm -hmm. Okay, that makes sense. It's kind of like a like an extra ruby crystal after you fill it up all the way or after you use it. Yeah, because your jungler's in the top side potentially, right? He's not bot side. So now this means that maybe their jungler can be bot, right? We don't know where their jungler is. We have never seen her yet. So because of that, it means that we don't want to all in, but we can short trade, okay? If you can take small trades without really dying, perfectly fine. That's all their wars. All their wars have gone in this bush. <laughs> yeah, so funny. Warding bushes. yeah dude they're so scared this is super good q short trade bang 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 all right we're running away perfect right now their wave is pushing into you right pushing into you still because you only have two minions and they have all of these and this guy's one hp so now what does this mean this means that the varus needs to lane by himself oh, play slow now we run now you want to freeze the wave right Hold the minion wave, and then you can go in <coughs> 6 seconds, you can go on their AD, you could probably blow his flash. Um, don't make it too obvious that you want to go though, don't make it too obvious, like run back, yeah. Give him some space to like int, don't make it too obvious. You mm. running here, makes it too obvious. Now you're like, <laughs> 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 like I know that your support's basing, I'm gonna try to do something, <laughs> but this is too forced, right? Yeah. Because you don't know where their jungler is yet still, right? If you go in here, Lilia pops out of here. Your ADC can't help you, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, that makes sense. So before, until you see their jungler or you're aware of their jungler, don't like don't make it too obvious. But now, boom, we see their jungler. All right, perfect. Now you can charge your E whenever you want. But like right now, you know, you can charge your E right now. But because nothing happens, it's not fast enough. We need to make sure that we're holding the minion wave, right? Mm -hmm. We still want to hold it here because when their support's going to be back in lane, right? You can still look for the same thing. Look for a quick trade on your side of the map, and then maybe your jungler is now he, because he's dead. He's gonna respawn. Maybe he's gonna come back bot. So if mm -hmm. you're holding the wave here, now they can't play. Might have missed my spot. No, it's okay. It's nothing. Just make sure to hold the minion wave. How's it going? Oh, bro. You can. Yeah, it should be good. Yep. The Seneca is selling too, it. Yeah, don't go too deep. Just let your Seneca heal a little bit. There's not, not too much pressure. Just wait for your jungler, he might be coming. See? Now you're waiting for the mini wave. Now your jungler's back to the lane. They force, right? They force. Why is there support going in? Who knows? <laughs> but, right? The, his jungler's not even on his side of the map. The, the jungler's on the on the grubs right now. So now they're dead. Right? Perfect. Oh, yeah. Perfectly played. This is perfect. You yeah, guys would have won this 2v2 anyways. But this is also because of EXP advantage, Gold advantage, this is everything that happened in the early game, right? So uh -huh. perfectly played there. Nice. Oh, that looked easy. Yep, now you want to fast push, and then you want to base again. Yeah, we get a win, we base, alright. Yep. And now you can go mid, because now you see, now this is a support timer. You look at the bot wave, and then look where the enemy team is, right? Mm -hmm. And they're coming out of base. See, big mini wave, they're coming out of base, so now you have one to two mini wave to maybe make a mid gank. And that's really it. But okay. if there's nothing, you're just going back to Bali. All right, Big Bay. Let's into a Silas. He's kind of fair. There's plenty of me to go around. Now look at the bot wave just to see what they're doing with the, with the wave. Yes, see, they're slow pushing. So you can stay mid right now. Just make sure your EKL is fine. And then it's probably not going to be anything. Lilia's top. Yeah, if he goes here, you can maybe look, but not too deep. Probably want to go back to bot lane at this point. Okay, okay. Yep. Dang it, dude. I love ganking mid. <laughs> <laughs> so now here you can go here in the fog and maybe look to charge your E. But here what I would do if I was you, instead of like going here, I would just go here, right? I would mm. start sweeping and then I would see if, if they have a vision. That way, that way your Hecarim can come instantly. I see. And then your E angle will be easier. Okay, because yeah, you see Lilia top, because you see everyone, yeah. I, I want you to be in the in the in an aggressive mindset here where it's like, okay, if I take another fight here, my jungler is here to back me up. 
I'm super strong. I don't want them to get a plate here, right? Because they're really overstepping. He doesn't want it. All right. Probably nothing. We got Hecarim coming. Jungler's coming. Yeah, let's see. He's not level six though. He's pretty hard. Oh, he's trolling us. I got E. Oh, why'd he walk back? Got him. Nice. Dude, troll. No audio. Yo, anyone else have no audio? There should be audio. Well, I guess we can say whatever we want now. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Okay. Okay. It was just hush. Okay. Yep, you can recall, get your ward item. Just put a ward in this bush while you're recalling. Get my ward item? What do you mean? Well, like, or you get your three wards oh, for okay, your support okay. item. Like, and I can just go straight back to the bot lane. Because your ADC might need help, he's probably not going to recall here. Oh, boy. Oh, he... all right, all right. oh he's fine. Nice. Now, Varus has no ult. Your ignites in 30 seconds. So you do want to maybe probably wait for your ignite before fighting again. But on your ignite, you want to fight. Okay, okay. So we have, like, a little advantage. I see, I see. Yeah, but if your ADC is recalling, just catch the minion wave. It's okay. Uh, like, this is perfect. Why? Because now you see that their Varus, right? Their Varus should never hit the tower here. Their Varus mm. should not hit the tower because his conditions. It's the same for their, their Pantheon. The Pantheon should not hit the tower because getting this plate means you'll be down tempo, right? Mm. And I recognize it, and I'm sure that now you recognize it just from seeing it first person, right? He mm. hits the tower. Okay, now I need to recall. But now, <laughs> if you walk up to them, right? This guy has no HP, no mana. If you just find out where he recalls, he has to cancel it. And then ah. you can do it over again. And then you can do it again. Basically, now what you can do, right? You cancel his recall. And now if you really want, you can be really extra annoying and then like try to find him again. But there's no point, right? Uh -huh. So now you push the wave. And now, now they're like, oh, what do I do? Am I going to lose this entire cannon wave? Or am I going to stay? So now if they stay, it means that you have three wards. They can never win an all-in because they're stuck on their tower with their 1 HP, no mana, right? Mm. Like, this is their conditions, right? They're going to be staying with this condition. Can they ever win an all-in? <laughs> no, he's on a mana. And his health yeah, sucks. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and he has no potion. He has nothing. So now this means that you have total control over the lane. You can do anything that you want. Don't do too much now. Just push them in the wave. Now his tempo is uh -huh. totally f***. Right Ooh, now, you yeah. see you canceled his recall. He's he needs to recall now. He hasn't recalled. Boom! His now go get some vision. Right? There's nothing to do. Go get some vision. Feel safe in your lane. Um, you can go deep. You can clear all the wards. You can ward their krugs too, just to see if the leader is doing krugs. You can ward the red buff. Use the plant. Or she is. Yep. You see Lilia. Perfect. Now we see their jungler. Use the plant. Go back to your lane. You want to make sure that you're punishing oh. the Varus. Don't don't stray away too far from your lane. Okay. What I want you to do? Boom. We see this guy. Put a ward. Go back into your lane instantly. Okay. Because yeah. here, what you want to do is you want to pull the enemy jungler. Okay. It's called pulling the enemy jungler. It's making it so that the enemy jungler feels forced to have to come to bot lane because ah. they're super low, right? They need help. Okay. He's staying. He's overstaying. So make sure to punish the the Varus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That another ward. I'm trolling. <clears throat> That's alright. Now you want to fast push this next bot wave. Yeah, because he's off tempo, okay. And yep. would that give me, theoretically, another roam timer? It might, but it seems like your team doesn't even need your roam timer, right? You're already hey. getting the grubs. Um, so here you can just recall, make sure that your Senna can get the plate, maybe. Hover him one time, just, just cancel your recall, yep. Make sure you can get the plate, start your recall again. Now your team got the grubs, you have full vision. Ping your ADC to base, yeah, perfect. Oh, shoot. That's okay. Dude's crazy. <laughs> yeah. That's all right. He just wasted his ult. I mean, if they face check, you, you can maybe fight. Yeah. And why not? These guys are just playing into your... Bruh. You have Ignite. Might able to get him with right. Ignite. Oh, no. It's okay. You didn't need to Ignite. Now you can Oy. stay. Because their, their, their condition is so bad, you don't have to leave now. I mean, if your ADC leaves, you can leave, basically. You just do what your ADC wants to do. If your ADC stays here, yeah, you can stay. You can look for another E-charge. You see Lilia mid. Oh, they're okay, looking for us. Silas. Yep. Perfect. 
This is from they all want your it. vision. Oh, nice. Should I catch this? You, you should. Yeah, you should stay here. Yeah. Should she? I mean, you can just catch it by yourself. It's alright. She should. Oh, she should there. catch it. But if she doesn't, it's all yours. Hey, hey. And now we base. Now it's true. I mean, if they keep pushing, you might need to stay. But yeah, just stay one more wave, and then on the cannon wave, you you want to recall. All right. Yeah. Get that free actually. I'm, I do have full health. I can just farm this. I just kill them and you just like EQ them and then recall okay. instantly. Or maybe your team needs help with the dragon. Should I go here? Yeah, you can. Ooh. It looks like your jungler is killing him, so this is okay to do. Ooh. Okay, that's it. Yeah, it's probably not going to be anything else. So now you can recall. Your jungler's dead. Rip, dude. Rip that guy. I'm thinking Merc Trez, what do you think? Yeah, probably Merc's, yeah. There's plenty of yeah. Oh shoot, Richard. So, what about this weird amount of gold, what would you do? Sell pots, maybe? No, no, no. Just just keep everything that you have. Okay, okay. Now just go back, like, click where your jungler is. Basically, if your jungler goes through bot, I mean, your mid laner's recall, so yeah. You're doing a good job, probably just go instantly bot. Nice, maybe nice. put a ward in the river one time, and then that's it. All right, all right. Like, like right here? Yeah, yeah, perfect. They might be on the dragon here. So maybe sweep. Oh, baby. Nicely done. Ooh. Because their jungler is dead, what I would do is I would I would go into the jungle right now after the dragon and I get some vision like this, right? I mm. want to get the I want to get the raptor ward and I want to get the red buff ward, okay? These are the most important wards if you can get them. Mm -hmm. um, it gives you perfect vision of their jungle. It gives you, it tells you where their jungler are. Uh, if their if their mid laner comes from like base ever, or he tries to rotate down bot through this path, you'll see him. Like it really just gives you all the information that you need. Mm -hmm. um, and then what I would do, I would do this. I would do this, and then I would wrap around and I would clear the tribush ward. Um, but here, because it's it's impossible to just run through them, right? You won't be able to just oh. Yo, what up? <laughs> Let me take your ward, right? Like you won't be able to do that. Yeah. So <laughs> why this is going to work is because usually after the dragon, the enemy bot lane will go back to the bot wave. So you'll have time to do all of this and then come back and then they'll be hitting the minions and then you'll get the ward. Okay. Or you'll force them off the minion wave. I think here you kind of push a little... Uh, like you, you're like uh, pushing the wave, but I would never use my Q here. I would just stay in the bush. All right, mm -hmm. stay in the bush and look for an E. Right, you're level eight at this point. Your E is gonna be like like this range, right? Yeah. So your E, you can really just E Q slap on the minion. Maybe if you look for a short trade, right? Bruh. So I'm thinking. I can't do anything here, so now is a good time to get vision. Yeah, you can you can go clear the control right now and their tri bush. But your Senna looks like she's running away, so maybe just sweep right now, just so you can see if there's a a ward like oh, in the river. Yep. Nice. Yep. Senna's recalling. Oh, I'm just gonna catch it. Yep. Everybody's a critic. I see. You can fight them a little bit if they try to hit it. Yep, and you're just just wasting their time, really. I'm starting to understand. Now, yeah, now your ADC has tempo, right? So now we want to we want to try to fight them off this wave. We don't want them to recall, or we don't want them to get the wave for free. So now you can fight the Varusty. Now he's running away because he knows that oh, listen, I came back from the recall. I can't really <laughs> fight. Hey, hey. Yeah, these are like support fundamentals, I feel like. And I'm figuring them out kind of late. <laughs> it's alright, there's a time for everything. Hey, it seems so easy. But like, I don't know, it doesn't come super clear yeah, right away. You can go to the tribush, you can get a vision, you see Pantheon. Their Silas is missing, so that's the only person we're scared of. 
That's just where the tri bush, perfect. Just another day on the job. You're sweeping at. Yeah, probably no fighting here just because our Hecram stops stopped. We don't know their jungler. Mm. Oh, the jungler stop. Oh, so maybe fight? Yeah, if you want to fight, you can. You can look for an E here. Yep. Hey. Easy. All these keys just got messed up. Woo! <laughs> nice. Let's go. So now you can break the tower with your AD carry and then recall. Oh, dude, it's, it's sub diff. Yo, chat saying amazing KS. Yo, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I need the I need the money. All right, now we recall after this. We go in the bushes and we recall. Nice, nice, nice. Now we're going mid. Uh, hold tab really quick. I want to see. Drag it in one forty four. So where do, where are we going? Uh, maybe we want to eventually get some vision over here. I yep, think exactly. So we want to get some vision, but because our junglers top, right? We want to get the vision safely. We don't want to really risk anything here. Ooh, sin is crazy. This dude's fed, you know. They're bro, heralding bro. down mid lane. So the turret's gonna be gone, so careful, because the turret just gets one shot here. I want you to notice why this is your side of the map, is because, look, you have this tower and you have this tower, right? So whenever mm. you have tier two turrets, the camps over here, it's too far deep, right? Mm. Unless you're dead, unless something happens, running through this path is illegal, okay? These tier two turrets are like, they basically make it so that right now, like the only thing they can have in the map is like this, right? Mm -hmm. You have a tier one top, so the tri bush is yours. You have a tier two mid, so this bush is yours, right? Mm -hmm. This is what it means, usually speaking. Okay. Okay. That makes sense. So like that little nook by chickens, that bush by chickens is not ours since we lost her, our first turret in mid. Yeah, like, like basically, right? Look, I'll show you. Like, let's say you were to have control wards, right? Mm -hmm. You would, at, at this point, because you lost your tier one turret, you never want a control ward here, right? Mm -hmm. control, wa control warding here, you'll probably lose it. So you want to have your control right here. Because mm. the turret is really nearby, so you'll always be able to just kill minion waves and then come defend it. I see. But let's say you'll never really be able to like kill the minion wave here and then run all the way here to defend it, right? Mm -hmm. So unless you're far ahead, right? Unless you're ahead and then you can rotate like this, you can control right this. Mm -hmm. But because usually you need to rotate this way after you lose your mid turret, it means that you want to have your control right here and then a regular ward there. Mm -hmm. This is your side of the map. It's a little deep. Oh, baby, double. Nice, Q. Hey. Alright, now their support's dead. Yeah. And now, after we get the skills, right? It's dragon. It's dragon time. So, what I want you to do immediately run into bot side. We get a ward here. We get a ward here. Okay. I want to get, I want you to get a ward in that bush over there. Okay. Because you killed them, right? Even though they have these turrets, right? Of course. Like it's not a it's not a uh a, a one um uh, dimensional thing, right? Mm -hmm. Because they're all dead, their jungler's one HP, I want you to walk up and I want you to get a ward. Okay? Mm -hmm. That's gonna make them use their sweeper or it's gonna make them use something. You probably can't kill him, don't waste your time here. There's no point in doing any of this. Alright, alright. All right. And we wanna focus the dragon. Or right, so Yeah, if if Hecarim comes. Right. Her. Nice. Nice. Now we're gonna get this dragon and then we're gonna recall. That's it. Alright, we got our objective. We got everything we wanted to play for in this round. Oh sorry, just recall then? No no no, you can you can just help your team get the dragon right, and then right. recall. Bad, now, bad. What's the next objective on the map? We got Baron coming up in 30. Alright, so that means we're gonna go into the top side of the map over here. On the way, baby. But our Hecarim does have three bot camps to clear so we want to just let him clear and then ward safely or not ward at all unless he's around mm. us maybe just like chill out of vision for a little bit till he gets up there 
Yep, you can just stay in Bush's top side in your jungle and just wait for him to come. I see. Yeah, I started not exactly doing that, but like I always felt like I had to do something and it was weird to hear you say that last time that like it's okay to just like see out of vision doing nothing for a little bit because you're using your pressure yep. just by not being on the map. So here we're probably not going to gank top, okay? There's no point in ganking top. We really just want to be around. Yep, this area is perfect. Yeah, I'll just be a ward right here. Yep. I see. Now we're waiting for Hecarim to do his red buff, and now the Pantheon might face check here. Um, yep, so now we're, we're going to look at the Pantheon. Oh, I'm trolling. But after we miss the Q, I want you to realize that now you need to you need to go to top immediately. All right, after you get this ward, now you need to go to top lane. Because right, now right. the Pantheon, what the Pantheon's going to do, right, because he's playing support, he's going to... Basically, this is what supports love doing, okay? They just love coming here, putting a ward, and then running to top, putting a ward on tribush. That's what they just love doing, all right? <laughs> so what you want to do is you want to, like, think into the mind of a support. All right, that's what he's going to do, so I'm going to follow him. That way, no one on my team is going to die, all right? So let's clear his ward, and now we're going to run to top here with our Hecram. Our Hecram is going to go do these Krugs, so we're going top. We're going to try bush and we're linking up with our team. You see how you guys are always on the same page this game. Perfect. We're sweeping right now. All right. We see his ward. Their top laner dies. All right. Now, this guy, you should not clear this ward and you should just run at him immediately. Like, you should charge your E right now and just jump. This guy's going to die. Okay. Yeah, he gets away. Because, think. yeah, their top laner is dead, right? Uh -huh. So he's he, he's just too far. Like you see you see their AD carries here. You see their mid laner, right? Only their jungler can be there. But your Senna has first move. So mm. if their jungler's in one of these bushes, it's gonna be four v two top. So I do want you to feel more comfortable, kind of clicking forward. Okay. Uh -huh. Um, you do kind of have this habit of like you go for the wards, but then you you try to like run away instantly. But really, you have two thousand seven hundred HP. You're never gonna die, right? Like here, mm. you know, you get your ward, and now you're like scared of the Varus. But it's like <laughs> no, 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 like, you know, like, I want you to click here and then go, go ward, you know, like, like, you know, I want you to be a little bit more, a little bit more dominant in these, in these moments where if someone walks into you here, right, like, their Pantheon is showing top, like, these guys are just going to get fucked. But like, right we here. can stay in these bushes. No, no, that's a little bit too deep. Now we can stay <laughs> in bushes and let's just wait. Yep, if they face check here, that's fine. It's a good fight. After this, probably nothing. Okay, mm -hmm. because we didn't get the kill, this is just the reason why it's too deep is because you can't you can't really get any follow up. Your mid laner is looking to recall. Like now, now if you go in here and their jungler shows up here and their support, like I don't know, maybe he's here, right? Who really knows where they are? No one can follow you up. So this is just why. Yeah. I was feeling myself. No, this is okay. And now that's probably it. A hey, hey. little bit deep now. Yeah. Uh oh. Uh oh. That's okay. Oh. Let him die. Oh, you get away. Here, your top laner is coming. Oh, nice. Oh. That was All clean. Right, now push the mid wave. Push, just push mid wave and then recall. Yeah. And now oh, the dragon's yeah. probably up soon, right? Because we've been kind of doing some stuff. Yeah. See. We've been doing Ooh. some some stuff topside, so now we're gonna go back to bot side. I see. Let's I see. sell our our refillable maybe for their uh, control ward. Should I get two or just one? Yeah, just get two. Okay. Okay. Let's yeah, but working mid, on. Not yeah. Oh, through, me, through okay. mid here. Yeah. We're working on buying more controllers. So you say it's better for like, like if I want to make a play and I don't know if a bush is worded, you say like that's the best use for it, or maybe getting like an objective. Yeah, usually, yeah. Okay. So now, because you see there's support in everyone, you can go right now just get deep vision for the dragon. Mm -hmm. Just get full deep vision. There's no one that can kill you here. Let's bounce. Yeah, maybe you can maybe look at the Nasus, his HP. Uh, I got armor. You do have ignite. But it's nothing. It's nothing. He's too deep now. Bro, yep. he, he doesn't want to die. Oh, my team's super they're deep. Probably, yeah, they're, they're very deep. They're probably going to die. There's nothing really you can do about that. <laughs> Maybe just, just link KO? up with your jungler. No, link up with Hecram. Try to try to be on the same side in case they do go for the Baron. Oh, he's still going. 
Who's a maniac? Yeah, might be dead here. Push the mid wave by yourself. Still so the crazy. Baron is probably gone, and that's okay. You wanna just be okay giving the Baron and just going into your bot side here. Go, go help the kill. Maybe she needs help. Maybe oh she's boy. dead. Looks like she's dead. You can just recall. Bro, my team. They're inting yeah. me. <laughs> it's okay. There's still the dragon to fight, and you know, like Baron oh, doesn't soul. really give. Yeah, exactly. Okay. okay. Kel has TP. Hopefully our team can fight this. I mean, if they can't, you don't have to throw the game for it either. I'm praying for it. I mean, it looks like the Varus is going top. Like, they're not even thinking about the dragon. or I don't know. Someone's going to show top this way for sure. So, you probably you said... start it. You can probably start the dragon here. Yep. You say don't worry about and the the Baron? Why exactly though? Him. But the reason why the Baron doesn't matter in this position is because of this, right? Mm -hmm. Look at the tempo difference. You put your ward, you push down the mid wave. Look at what they have to do, okay? You push the mid wave, you base, and now these guys they have to push out this, they have to push out this. Mm -hmm. But the Baron the dragon spawning spawning soon, right? So look what happens. Look where the wave is, right? It's over here. And now I look see. what they do. Someone shows here, right? They need to push. They need to push this wave. So now they're fucking... I think their Varus shows up here. Their Silas shows here, right? Mm -hmm. So now you see Silas. He's over here. So if you pull the dragon right away, the Silas will never make it in time, right? Mm -hmm. Now you see where the Silas is. Now they're all trying to fucking... Now they're panicking, right? They're panicking. <laughs> it's the They're like, oh my god, like we might lose this. Yeah. So they inadvertently they, lost Dragon because of the Baron play. Yeah. Okay, because that's what crazy. they should do is they should they should do Baron and then run straight down to the Dragon. That's what they should do. But because you push down the mid wave, right? Now they're like, fuck, like now we need to answer mid wave. Oh baby. Careful. Nice. Nice. This is why you don't care about the Baron. Yeah, because it's free soul. No, because I... the enemy team has no brain. <laughs> True, they just wasted it all. <laughs> well, they're, they're just... Their Nasus is face checking before the team's there, right? Like, they'll make a mistake. That's, ah, the, okay. that's the part of this, this ELO, is that they will make a mistake, and mm -hmm. they won't play it perfectly. So then, them having Baron does nothing, right? The Baron only helps you push towers. It doesn't really make you stronger, right? It's not like Elder. Yeah. Um, so now let's go bot, let's go get tier 2 bot, and then probably recall and, get, and then go top tier 2. Wait, wait, recall, get, uh, get bot? Recall and go bot? No, 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 get, get bot tier 2. Okay, and then okay. probably recall and get top tier 2. Here, I'll show you, I'll show you, uh, so you get the mid and hip, right? So now if you want to get this turret, what's going to happen is you guys have to siege on this minion wave, right? You guys have to siege with these six minions. You you guys have six minions to break an entire tower. But you don't even have Baron. Mm -hmm. So can you guys really break a tower? Yeah, it sounds tough. Yeah, it's impossible, right? <laughs> so that's why staying here, it's it's not possible, right? You can never do this. And even getting the top tier two, it's going to be difficult because you don't have Baron. But it's easier because you'll have at least you'll have mid pushing right and now you'll be able to flank them that's why that's why you can you can siege the top tier two is because you'll have more angles because of the the inhibitor being down mm -hmm. but this one you'll never be able to die right the same way that you'll never be able to dive their top tier three um unless you have baron but you can just base and then just ping top here just ping on the way top lane like three times wait i'm scared for my team yeah it's okay you can Fight here. I'm leaving. They can die. Well, you <laughs> might be able to help. You guys have soul, so. Your Kel's on the way. Ooh, I want to do it really bad, but it seems troll. Yeah, yeah, you can. Oh, nice. There's my passive. Ooh! Yeah. Ooh, they're losing. Nice. All right. Now you guys can probably end. 
So that like wouldn't be a good play in high reload. Cause like we could just base and go top. Oh, the enemy team would never fight you there in high reload. Ah, okay. <laughs> but yes, like what the enemy team would do is they would prepare for you to siege top. And okay. then they would try to defend the top turret. They kind of have an idea what's going to happen. Yeah, yeah, because it's just how the game... Like, the game... There's not, like, a million um, different strategies, basically. Alright. It's so deep. Now we're going to recall. Then we're going to go top. Like, see, like, like in this elo, it's like... Okay, like, the, the inhib is where it stops. But for us, it's the tier 3 turret. Like, you don't need... You don't need the inhib. Usually the inhib, it makes you lose more games because um, if you're not able to end, they get EXP advantage, gold advantage, um, because they can farm a lot from mm -hmm. the inhibitor. That makes sense. So in higher elo, they, you think they'd even take inhibitor? I, mean, I guess it's kind of late, right? Yeah. I mean, at this point, yeah, the, the spot inhib is okay because of the, the Baron's going to spawn soon, like mm -hmm. maybe two minutes. So usually you always want to have the opposite uh. side inhib. Of the next objective. I see. So you're thinking more like if the objective is gonna, if it's gonna help you get an objective, you'll take it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That makes more sense. I mean, in that case, it was free, right? But at the beginning, it's not free, because at the beginning, it's a five v five under the tower, so it's not. But because they entered, um, it becomes free. Oh shoot! I just just play slow here. Looks good. Oh, nice. Oi. You can try, you can E here. Yeah. <laughs> Easy. Easy peasy. Ooh. They sub Dave. Yeah, this is good. Oh. <laughs> Nice. nice. I need one more kill for the 420. <laughs> Ooh, he's scared. Oh shoot, I'm inting. No, my perfect no, you're KD! Good. You're good, you're good. Oh, I got him! Nice! Alright, can't do anything else. Got the 420 KD. Let's go! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nice. Oh, dude, nice, bro.